The Star Crystal, huh? Damn thieves coming in to take Cladian's most precious treasure during all this turmoil. We have no intention of stealing anything. We share the same objective. What? I see we have guests. Chief Toglau! I messed up, Chief. I let these guys take me hostage. Hmm, I don't sense any hostility. Why have you come to this remote village? We're here to kill Nyala. Huh? What? What kind of crap are you thieves going on about? I'm sure you gained a good grasp of our combat abilities from our, our uh. previous battle. Yeah, I've got a grasp, alright. Those guys won't even be able to scratch Nyala's tail. And you can? Shut up. Of course not. But it's not like there's anywhere here for us to hide. We might as well try. What about the Dragon Slayer? How do you know about our treasured sword? Legend of it has spread in our country as well. The sword that can slice through a true dragon. Indeed, knowledge of it was passed along so that we could combat the dragon invasion. Many years ago, the priestess of the spirit world, Amel and Ayatel, granted its secrets to us. Amel, that the hip, the Hypno Sisters. That has to be like a version of Emily. So you know of them. They warned us of the dragon invasion and taught us of the dragon slayer. The people of Cladian are the descendants of those who were originally taught these secrets. Does that mean the dragon slayer is here? No, it no longer exists. After Nyala appeared, we followed the prophecy and gave the dragon slayer to our former king. But instead of Nyala, our king, Utrello, and his men were the ones to die, even my father. We lost not only our king, but the mythical sword as well. The prophecy of the priestess Amel is as follows. When disaster strikes, pass the Dragon Slayer to a kind hero. That hero will be called Dragon Hunter. They shall carry the will that can rid this planet of ruin. Currently, neither sword nor hero exist. Our hope of survival has already crumbled. Is there no way to forge another Dragon Slayer? We are lacking the materials. Furthermore, many of our smiths have lost their lives in battle. On top of that, the High Dragon Mayhem is using our forge as a nesting ground. Our Star Crystal protects us from weak dragons, but this is one of the few safe places left. Damn it. That thing knew how important the forge was to us. I'll kill the High Dragon. You think you're some kind of hero? A weakling like you? Don't make me laugh. Indeed. Unit 13 still has much room for growth. But you never know what can happen. Besides, we're here as well. Igor, your reason for not going after Mayhem is that you need to keep your people safe. Yes? Yeah. If we went to fight it, we wouldn't be able to protect the citizens here. I understand. In that case, leave the High Dragon at the forge to us. You really think you're going to do anything to a High Dragon with that few people? Yes. We're going to kill it. You're crazy. <clears throat> Visitors, do as you please. We will not stop you. Chief! Igor, you're doing very well here. However, there's little more we can do with the strength we have. Let us rely on them for now. Shit. Fine, you guys can handle the High Dragon. Under one condition, you take some of my men with you. Is that alright with you, Chief? You are the commander. You may do as you see fit. Got it. Look, trying to take on a High Dragon with so few people is just plain reckless. Besides, things should be easier if you have a Lucier who's dealt with the monsters around here. They're all still amateurs, but feel free to bring anyone from my army along with you. Tactical reinforcements. ISDF is in no position to accept new recruits at this time. However, I'm sure Unit 13 will be welcome the suggestion with arms wide open. I heard all that. You're gonna need to ask Allie and Julieta before you can go making any new hires. Hmm? You wanna accept a Lucier from Atlantis? Fine by me. I'm all for it. You can even go ahead and double the size of your party if you'd like. You're too easy to pers persuade, but I guess having a Lucier would be nice to those ears. Oh, so this is how we unlock the classes. You can now form a second team. Oh, shuala. Okay. So where's the Lucier then? So these are the new classes then. Um, yeah, so we got new classes. Let me know, guys. Um, also, for the characters that are already made, if you want to change up, this is the first uh, row, and this is the second. This is a dude, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this looks to be the girl. Oh, she looks maniacal. Okay. And then we have this one. 
And then uh, this guy. This looks like that one of the high elf ones from uh, Atlantis itself. And then we got this girl here. So, um, who haven't I made? Eros, I forgot to make you. I, I don't know if you're watching, but I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you you specified who you wanted, if you wanted to be anybody, but oh, I mean, why not make one of your characters one of the new guys, right? I kind of like this guy, and it's blue. It kind of matches the name, sort of. Ooh, we got new classes: a rune knight, Fortuna, an astrologer of the battlefield who reaps enemy lives by reading the stars, a swift magic-focused knight who excels at striking weaknesses with mana-laced short sword. I'm gonna make you a Fortuner. Um. I think I like G. So yeah. Also, you know, I can always change the character. So let me know if you like, if you don't, you know, if it is a character, if you don't like who you are and such. But yeah, why not, right? Make arrows. New member of Nodens. I see you were able to get approval. I'm glad. They might drag you down at first, but they'll catch on quick, I promise. Now that you have a second team, you can perform support skills and buddy skills. The backup turn is a special kind of action that can appear at the beginning of each turn. It occurs once three members of your rear team have filled one segment of their standby gauge. The standby gauge fills partially after every turn. The gauge fills rate differ. To perform support skills during the backup turn, start by touching one party member. After that, slide across the road to select three party members, then press the A button. The effect of each member's support skill differs based on the class. Alright. Buddy skills. A buddy skill can be used once a member of your team has filled their standby gauge. In order to use a buddy skill to touch a rear team member, select the front team member's action as normal, and the buddy skill will activate when they act. Okay. Preliminary research gave us a general idea of the topography. The forge seems to be up ahead through this mine shaft. It's basically becoming a breeding ground for monsters because of the high dragon. If you let your guard down for even a second, you won't make it through the forge. Through to the forge. This is terrible, M monsters! They're here again. There's a large group of monsters coming out of the west passage. Blockade the surrounding area immediately. Yes, sir. Let's go, everyone. Sir. We'll handle the ones here. You go on and get to the forge. There may yet be hope if we can recapture the forge. These travelers from a foreign land, and are they our saviors? Or maybe. Team switching. If you press the X button on the system menu, I can switch teams. But I, I, don't, I don't. I wouldn't say that that's a team. I, I've got one guy. But that's cool though. You can kind of switch. No, wait. You said press X, right? So. Oh, so it just switches the whole team. Alright. Well, yeah, let me know um, who else maybe wants to be a part of the game, apparently, because we have a second team. I wonder if um, there's a way to get a third. That would be cool.